What it do, band run a squad? What's up, you guys? It's your girl Shonda. Yeah, let's see money, fam. And we are currently in Shreveport, you guys, trying to get our final results on our pregnancy. Um, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. A lot of y'all might not know what's going on. We are currently six weeks pregnant, and we are threatening a miscarriage. But this is our we today. We are getting our final results on what's going on. I mean, this is our second go around, you know. So it's, it's tough, man. Like I said, I know, God know. This obviously is not the natural way for him and intended for people to get pregnant. We know that. You know? We're not going against nothing like that. We're just trying it a different way, man. You know, make it possible for us to have another baby. But, you know, I mean, it's all right, out of our hands right now. You know, like, first and second time, no matter how many times you do it, like, if you gotta watch your hands, you gotta go watch your hands, bro. You know? Okay, you guys, I am back from where we had stopped yesterday. There's a music which is too much and we just couldn't say how we wanted to say without the music overriding what we were saying but the doctors did call me back yesterday and did give me results on what was going on with the baby procedure uh, we basically lost the baby it's not a viable pregnancy where the baby will continue growing uh, my numbers are steady dropping my levels dropped all the way down from the start was 2580 now they're at 1227 uh, I mean, I just, there's nothing that can be done to save the baby. I really believe it was, uh, my embryos had a genetic issue, uh, because that's twice that it happened in the pregnancy. I believe myself don't believe it's me because, I mean, I already had three pregnancies, um, you know, in the past. So, I mean, you know, anything can happen with your body. You know afterwards you know, i am 34 years old but that's not old you know and the doctor you know uh, it shows that you know i'm completely healthy um it's just something was basically wrong with the embryos itself but um i never got the embryos genetically tested because it was more money and i wasn't in that stage where i could afford it i just was trying to get the procedure actually done uh that we had two i mean whatever fertilized you know that was fine with us but it could have been something wrong with the embryos that we didn't know you know uh of anyways but um i mean i'm i'm sad but i'm not sad because it's just i already done accepted the hurt when i was going back and forth to the doctor i already knew that something wasn't right um i'm just i'm i'm being strong-minded about it uh it's just i really want to try again the honest truth i really really want to do it again i mean but i have to start all the way over from the start to the end when we first started the whole thing um i have to start from you know getting taking the eggs out of my ovaries and fertilizing my eggs and it's just like it's just so much pressure on you know not just us it's just everybody that had faith and believed that this was going to work and i really truly believe it will work it's just i need to do it the right way as far as in getting the eggs tested and make sure they are in right in the best condition that they could possibly be in um and maybe i need to change my diet i mean i, I still want to i can blame myself and blame not blame myself even though i feel like i just i know I just don't know it's just so much going on and i'm just i like i say i really 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 want to do this again uh maybe once i you know get back into my normal state of, of body form and uh bypass the baby the body t the baby tissues i still have a sack in me and all that uh maybe we can um start this procedure again maybe start a fundraiser again the thing is, this fund, the, the I would have to raise eleven thousand dollars because that's how much the first when we first started the procedure. That's how much we had to pay, and the reason why it was cheaper this second go around was because we only had to pay to have the embryo transferred because we already had one that was already fertilized from the first procedure, and it was just frozen. So we paid for a frozen embryo transfer, but um. Like I say, you know, if it all falls, you know, it, I mean, me and Eric still gonna be good. 
I just really, really wanted this, not just for me, but for him, and not for just for him, but for us. Uh, he he deserves this more than anything, and so like I say, we we're gonna start over again. We just wanna make sure we get my body back in shape, and you know, I know you guys got our back, like y'all always have. Um, but I love you guys for being here for us through the thick and the thin. And like I can say, we, we're not going to give up. I'm really lost for words. I've just been trying to like process. I process. Like I say, I'm not sad. I'm not happy. I just accept it. Because like I say, just, I just don't know. But I love you guys. And it's been on the squad all day, every day. And I'm in and now I'm out. Peace out, squad.